Oh, yes, it worked! Hey guys, Marsh Games here, and continuing on with our Change in the Code series, I had an idea planned for today, and that is to make the canned beans get kills with the kills counter. Now, as you can see in the last few updates ago, I'm um, unturned 3.23.3.0 update notes where the stat counters were added. Nelson said down here, and yes, you can attach a stat counter to your canned beans if you somehow manage to directly kill someone while holding the beans, it will be tracked. You guys are crazy. Though this video was planned for today, a couple of people have already beat me to it. Uh, MTN and Lord Sabax apparently have already made videos like this. Um, not to copy these two people, I just had the plan for today, and you know me. Um, if you don't know me, I'm the person that has started the original idea of changing the code and unturned. <laughs> a lot of people are copying me, honestly. You can, you can scroll down in your videos and find a lot of different, like, very, very small channels trying to do what I've been doing here. Oh, there. There's my video. That is the worst. Really, that's the entire suggested clip. That, that was like the boringest thing in the world. Anyways, point being is, I'm not trying to copy these people. Um, I'm just trying to make this video for fun. Uh, I love changing the code and unturn, as you might know already. So I just tried to do this for myself, and it did work, and I just, come on, 800 hours. Come on. Let me get it today. Today, <laughs> it did work. Um, I didn't want to look at the other videos though. I did this by myself. It took me a couple tries. Um, but what do you, what do you do? Is go to properties, uh, go to unturn, right click unturn, go to properties, local files, and then browse local files. And so in here, we we're doing a few things. So make sure you pay attention. First thing I want to do is go into bundles, and then we're gonna go to items, and then we're gonna scroll down to where it says food, right here, food, and we're gonna find where it says uh, canned beans, right here. Now, canned beans, we're going to go into canned beans, under, can underscore beans, that, that. Now, I do have notepad plus plus. You might have notepad, um, notepad plus plus. This allows you to go to different tabs, you can see. And so I can like, edit different files. So I'm going to close these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this. And then I'm going to go back into items. I'm going to go down where it says melee. And then go down to knife underscore military. You could go to any of these, or butcher butterfly. Kitchener military or Swiss, you know, I'm just gonna go with Swiss, whatever. Knife underscore Swiss. I did reset the canned beans file, so don't worry, I didn't, I'm not like quickly showing you what I did and just like moving on. I'm actually gonna show you how to do it. So with the canned beans, the type, we're gonna change this to, we're gonna change basically what this says to the Swiss army knife. So type is melee, so the type here needs to be melee. Use, usable is not gonna be consumable it's gonna be melee as well so we just copy that and paste it in here ID can stay as 13 and then the slot secondary we have to have this but you could set the slot primary it really wouldn't matter we're just gonna add slot secondary and now we're gonna leave the size and stuff we're gonna delete the food and health and we're gonna go in here and where it says range all the way down to the very bottom actually wait now Yes, the very bottom. Just do Control C to copy that or Command uh, C if you're not Mac, and then paste it right here. Make sure there's a space between the size and stuff, and then the, the range, which is from the Swiss Army knife, or from basically any knife that you copy. I'm just doing this as an example. Now I found this to work, so do Control S or Command S if you're on a Mac. Close that, and then we're gonna start up unturned. So in a lot of my thumbnails, you usually see this uniform right here with the gold aviators on, but I got some pilot aviators. And do you think the pilot aviators look better, or should I keep the regular gold aviators? Let me know in the comments down below. Now if we did everything correctly, we should be able to get a kill with our canned beans. Right now, I do not have, as you can see, it's in our second inventory slot. I do not have an actual kills counter for this canned beans. I might have it by the time the thumbnail's out. And wait, what the heck? I pressed F to inspect it. Oh! I didn't know that. When you click. What? <laughs> Oh, yes, it worked! I already knew that. <laughs> but if you had... Oh, there's my flare gun mod. If you had yourself... Oh, I need a shell now, dang it. I think I can make a shell. But if you had yourself a kills counter on your canned beans, you would, in fact, be able to make your canned beans get kills with a kills counter. Uh, where's the shell? There it is. <laughs> no, I won't shoot this. That's gonna cause a lot of hate comments. Sorry about the last uh, recording video. It kind of a lot of people are like, "Oh, everything about epilepsy." And I'm like, "Nope, sorry." 
I do apologize for that. <laughs> As you can see, we are getting some kills with the, the canned beans here. It's pretty funny, to be honest. The one thing you do need, though, is a it's your own canned bean skin. You can't do this to any regular canned beans. Or wait a minute. No, I lied. I lied. No, we didn't change the skin file. We changed the actual it's set file. I'm sorry. You, you don't have to have a skin for this. As you can see, we were getting a ton of kills with our with canned beans here. Technically, it's a Swiss Army knife. Uh, we could change the damage on it, <laughs> but I, the, the ED is hilarious. I'm just gonna spam click. Each is so many times. That's awesome. So yeah, by the thumbnail, um, by the time this video comes out, you might see on the thumbnail there is a kills counter on this can means. That's probably because uh, I got one. But anyway, sorry I can't show that on video. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.